Hey all my future buyers and sellers out there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my neighborhood. This is where I am from and I specialize in the Issaquah Highlands. Now it's an interesting word to say but it's even more of an interesting community and I cannot wait to share it with you because it stole my heart many moons ago. Let's get into it. Hey, it's Ella with Ella Estate Realty and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the gorgeous, lush, beautiful Isgua Highlands. I'm down a nature trail actually, but I thought it was fitting to start the video here because behind me, way, way back there, is a water tower that feeds all of the Isgua Highlands and it's supposedly the highest point in the Highlands. So I wanted to start from the top and then work our way down into the community, but I also wanted to share this greenery forest area. I'll pan a little bit for you. You can take it in and what it used to look like before the community was here and how it's magically intertwined with what the community has developed into today. So without further ado, let me tell you a little bit about the history. Back in 1990, if you'd believe it, three decades ago, they had this crazy idea, two developers, that they wanted to buy up a mass quantity of acreage and build a community up here. Now they didn't really get along with King County very well, like the main county, and they got denied just about every two years. Until until 1994 they were able to come to an agreement together if they kept sustainability in mind which is what this community is built off of but also they donated a mass quantity of land to public use so everyone could enjoy it but also nature reserves so it wouldn't lose its lush beauty um, with the community and that's why I say that it's equally intertwined you can see the greenery everywhere even though it's such a dense society and it is still ever growing we have a couple cranes in town too it's just wild to me but let's get further into the community so you can see what I'm talking about as we go lower in elevation, so we just left the water tower and that nature walk and down to Harrison Street, you'll find that this is the street of dreams. In fact, I made a whole video about all the different epic types of architecture that you'll find here. Um, really keeps me inspired to, you know, have my goals set and like, I want that one, I want that one. And I hope you guys got the same message. But I will say that Issaquah Highlands as a whole always had the idea of a mixed community in mind. So they really wanted to have a variety for everyone. Now as we go lower in elevation you'll notice that there is everything from apartments to condos to townhouses to fun architecture to cookie cutter homes, um, bigger lots, smaller lots, a lot to offer and I think that is why it makes it so special that there's such a wide variety of community um, here. So let's see a couple houses as we go through the street of dreams. I want to show you some epic ones and then we'll go um, move down and I'll show you all the others that the community has. So first up in the Issaquah Highlands, it has a multitude of housing options to choose from, but I thought I'd start with the biggest and best, the million dollar houses. Guys, you gotta see these. All right, so as you can see behind me, there is a sea of roofs. Now this is a great viewing spot. I stop here on my walks through the neighborhood all the time to take in just the sea of opportunity for selling real estate, but also the beauty. It's quite the view. Now this isn't all of the Issaquah Highlands, but it's a section of the community. But I just wanted to throw a couple stats at you. So out of all of the Issaquah Highlands, it's about 2,200 acres. And then from that 2,200 acres, I told you before about the history they made a deal that they wanted a lot of nature to be involved and dedicated to the public. Well, 1,500 of those 2,200 acres is designated to open spaces for the public, such as parks, uh, biking trails, gardening areas, all of those. Now, out of the leftover acreage, about 500 they used for retail areas, commercial, and residential. So even if it looks like there is a lot behind me, it's because it had density in mind 
but you can see the nature sprinkled throughout the trees popping up and then the surrounding areas is still all forest so it's just gorgeous to take in and I love that they stayed true to their commitment how they wanted nature to be involved in the development as well this community boasts that they have 4,075 houses to choose from. Now that is quite the quantity and I showed you a couple of different varieties of them as well. But as it goes for stats, the rentals versus owner occupied, rentals only about 950 of those actually have renters in them. The rest are owner occupied, meaning that when they bought the house, they had the intention of staying in the neighborhood for the schools, for the environment, for the house itself. So it has a lot of residents that actually own their homes, which is great in a community because it grows with you You know your neighbors kids grow with your kids and it's just got that suburbia feel now behind me is Categorized as kind of a cookie cutter house because it's pretty close to its neighbor and it looks a lot like its neighbor But the thing I like about these houses even though they look a lot of like they're in totally different color schemes and they have we're off a busy road. They have, a, you know, like a green, oops, green one. And then they have a blue, dark blue, green, red, and even yellow. And I don't know if you guys heard, but Washington gets a lot of rain. Sometimes it's a little dreary. So anything to brighten up the neighborhood, I am all for. And these houses accomplish that. Now over here are some townhouse options actually and that's when they have a shared wall in between the houses but what you'll notice is that it's brick and it kind of gives you this east coast vibe to me at least and then through as we circle around there's another brick and then we get over here and it's a Tudor style which is really odd to me that they mix this in um, and then it's smack dab in the middle of a roundabout like the biggest roundabout and the center of it is a park and it has this massive tree that during during the holiday season you know they light it up it's kind of a pillar but it's based off of the park drive which is the main street in and out of the community so it's just really cool that they have these houses um, bordering this park and that when you're driving on your way back home that you're able to pass them and take in their beauty now down there was the park that we just came from and up in here you can see condo options and this is an enclosed community so you have to go down hallways to get through to get to your section but we also have um, retail spaces down below. So we have the Issaquah Highlands community and then we have Zeke's Pizza, great dining choice if you're up in the Highlands and you don't want to go all the way back down Park Drive to leave the community. So uh, yeah, check it out. So I question whether or not to do this because we are off the main road, but this map is just too good. It shows you exactly where everything in the neighborhood, everything that I'm going through in the uh, video is and I just wanted to point it out so just like I said the water tower that we started the video off at is all the way up here way at the top I don't even know if that's on screen we worked our way down to Harrison Street with the beautiful collection of architecture and then down to cookie cutter level where the houses looked a lot alike we made it into um, village green which is the roundabout with the brick houses and the Tudor style houses and the collection around it and further down Park Drive we hit Zeke's Pizza along the way and now I'm about to take you into Central Park where you have as many uh, athletic fields as you can put all in one area and then we're gonna go down into the retail area where there is restaurants and stores and all of those things so <sighs> I can take a deep breath, talking loud, going over the map. I appreciate you, thank you for listening, and let's get into Central Park. How could I forget? Oh my gosh, almost forgot. 
the school that the Highlands has to offer. Now that would be Grand Ridge Elementary. Now for student to teacher ratios, they're hovering around 18 to one and they service about 750 students. So they keep it on the lower side to make sure that they have that good ratio. It's one of Issaquah's most top rated elementary schools and well known uh, in the state regardless. Now you can see kind of the the sheer mass of the school, but I think it still has some portables just because of the population growth within this area and it's just a very desired school to be within. So, before we go any further, you know what? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that this is a lot of area to cover and I'm gonna have to break this video into two pieces. One for residential, which we already covered, and the next for the retail commercial areas to go over the restaurants and shopping, the good stuff stuff and that'll be in the next video so stay tuned but in the meantime you can subscribe for more content like this leave me some love with some likes to uh, let me know that you enjoyed this type of video and from there I hope you're having a stupendous day